to, to Jerusalem. Make sure you are what? Entued with power. Why? The terrain is not the way it is. The terrain is not, it's not what you think it is. <laughs> Glory be to God. Glory be to God. I want you to understand something. That the end time church is programmed for two major things. One, influence and affluence. The influence is the power. The affluence is the prosperity. When these two things are in place, you are good to go. You have the financial power. Amen. And there is a spiritual power backing you. Then you are good to go. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. Intimidation and oppression will continue until you begin to operate in God's power. There are so many things that want to silence you. It takes the power of God to silence them. I want you to understand that this morning. There are things that have said that as far as we are concerned, you can't go beyond this level. It takes the power of God to say, I must cross this line. Please realize child of God, that Christianity is not for begging. We are not being called into the kingdom of God to beg. We are not see, until we begin to understand this, we still be on the running side. It takes power to command a turnaround. And I see somebody living with that power this morning. I see, I see somebody manifesting that power this morning. What is power? Power is the dynamic ability to command changes. Nothing, cha nothing will change until you deploy power. That's why even in the law of physics, the law of motion, Isaac Newton told us in his first law that every object will remain what? In a state of rest until what? External force is applied. I want to let you know that the enemy want everything about you to be at a standstill. You must be ready to apply force. You must be ready to apply force. And that force is the power. Power is the dynamic ability to command changes. Or to command a turnaround. Or to bring a turning point. Where there is no power, things remain the same. It's my greatest prayer that somebody hearing me this morning, you rise up and get angry and tell yourself things cannot remain the same this year. Why? If you leave it and say it will change by itself, it will not change. Power is the dynamic ability to command changes. And I see somebody enjoying unusual changes this year. Changes in your family, changes in your finances, changes in your career, changes in your mind, changes all around. It takes power. It takes power. Look at St. Louis Gospel, chapter 9. It takes power. Hallelujah. It takes what? Touch your neighbor say it's time to manifest power. It's time to manifest power. It's time to ride on the wings of power. We are not telling somebody anything this morning. Time to ride on the wings of power. Brothers and sisters, we have suffered intimidation enough. Glory be to God. I say glory be to God. <laughs> power. Are you there? St. Luke's Gospel chapter number 9. If you have it, say amen. Everybody read verse 1. And he called the twelve disciples together and gave them what power and authority over all devils and to cure diseases. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He gave them what power. He gave them what authority. I like that scripture. Why I brought it up is that he gave them two powerful tools we need to bring a turning point. He gave them what power. What is power here? Power here is dynamics. What do I call it? What is dynamics? Dynamics is a force. Tell your neighbor, your neighbor, it's time to apply force. It's time to apply force.
force. He gave them dunamis. What is dunamis? Miracle working power. Listen to me. If every child of God we know that he carries miracle working power, we we'll stop looking for miracles. We we'll start working miracles. Why we are looking for miracles is because of what we don't know what we carry. When you know that he has given you dunamis, what is dunamis? An inherent ability. Dunamis is very, very powerful. It's what? An inherent ability. Let me give you an example of dunamis. It's from dunamis we get dynamite. So if you have been in a mining area, if you have been around, around a tap the area towards Kogi State, you stay small. You start hearing, do I? Do I? You think that they are fighting. What are they doing? They are throwing dynamite to blow all those hard rocks and it's from that hard rock that we got what you get what the steel iron steel are, are you hearing me this one it is from that dynam uh, 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 what we call dynamics we get what we got the word dynamite and the bible says i have given you dynamite listen what god is saying is that i have packaged you to explode you are an agent of explosion you know, it's when you check some of these bombs, all these uh, devices that some people carry to explode in our environment. At times, when you check, they are small. I hope you know they are small. Some of them, because it's small, they can hide it under their clothes. They just come to a place and drop it. Insignificant. I want to give you something. Listen to me and listen to me very well. People, why you must not work with people's opinion is because people will misread you misjudge you misunderstand you but you must judge yourself right because you know what to carry you see listen when people are making noise and you're carrying a lot of cash maybe you enter a supermarket to buy something and the, the waitress is trying to be arrogant when you are carrying the level of cash you can make guy you can tell them sit down and move to the, because i carry what i can do to deliver myself listen to me there is a dynamite on your inside I say you carry what? Dynamite. You can explode at any time. You can what? Now if you know you can explode at any time, who is that witch that will come to touch your body? Who is that that will come to oppress you? He said I give to you what? Power. Dyna dynamic ability. There is something I carry. A, a challenge we are having is that we are in the church, but we are not in touch with what God has done. We are in the church, in the church, but we don't know what we carry. And I like what my father in the Lord will always say. He said, when you don't know what to carry, you will always miscarry. You need touch your neighbor say you need power to command the turn around this year. And God said, I have given you authority, dynamis, power, miracle working power. Glory be to God. I said, Glory be to God. This thing, see, why, listen, why people can talk to you anyhow is that power is not demonstrated by size. Dunamis is inherent, dunamis is on the inside. But when you begin to showcase that dunamis, they will know that this person is no good area. I give to you power, and I give to you what? Authority. What is authority? Esuhusia. What is Esuhusia? I have given you competence. I've given you what? Competence. What is competence? Up to the tax. I want you to leave this meeting today and look at this year and look at what before you and say, I am up to the tax. Have you heard people say that? Ladies and gentlemen, there is nothing that will come before you this year that you, you are not up to the tax. Tell yourself, I am up to the tax. So saying, I don't have anybody. So saying, I have nobody to help me. Stop saying, oh, what do I do? I am up to the tax. God say, I have given you what? A suhusia. I have given you, I have given you competence. You are up to the tax. Oh God, why is this thing? I am tired. Tired what? You are up to the tax. Touch your name and say, I'm up to the tax. You are up to the tax. You are up to the tax. That thing that is looking threatening, God said, you carry a suhusia. You are up to the tax. Stop saying, I cannot. You don't know that a feminine, feminine gender. Don't say, you know, I am a woman. You are up to the tax. Are you hearing what I'm saying? In your family, you are up to the tax. In that 
Hallelujah, you are up to the tax. God said, this is too much for me. You are too much for that thing. Oh, can somebody say amen this morning? He said, I give to you dynamis and I give to you exousia. I give to you in an inherent ability and I give to you what? Competence. You are up to the tax. No wonder Paul began to write to the church in Corinth. Second Corinthians chapter number 3 in verse number 5. He said, we do not think ourselves to be anything of ourselves. But he said what? He said, our abilities of God. Our competencies of God. Hallelujah. Our up to the taxes of God. Paul knew that. That's why Paul could say, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Please, I want you to leave this place this morning and tell yourself, I'm up to the tax. It may look threatening, but I am up to the tax. I'm not up to the tax by my own human power, by my own strength. I am up to the tax by the authority given to me. What is Esuzia? Esuzia is what? Delegated power. Delegated what? Power. I give to you authority. Authority is delegated power. And who delegated you? Jesus himself. Let's look at the power of delegation in our environment. At times, listen, at times the president can be invited for an occasion, maybe to visit a state, maybe because of one thing or the other, he will not be able to come. He sends the vice president. Amen? At times, he might not even send the vice president, he sends a minister. Are you going to tell me? Now, when the minister arrives, one thing you notice is that the same, listen, the same number of military parade that we welcome the president will be there to welcome him. The same military parade that will be on ground for the president will be there for him. All the rights and privileges that the president is supposed to enjoy, whosoever represents him, we do what? We enjoy that thing. When, he, when, when they want to introduce him, they don't introduce him as the minister of works or whatever. They tell you here, we welcome the president, commander-in-chief of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. But who is standing? Who is standing is a minister. Who are they introducing? The president. Why? The president said, I have delegated you to do what? To go and represent me. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on earth. We are not functioning on our own strength. We have been delegated. There is a delegated power we are working with. That's why when you mention the name of Jesus, listen to me. It is not you that appears in that matter. Jesus appears in that matter because he is the one you are representing. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I carry a delegated authority. So when you begin to pray in the name of Jesus, stop looking at the problem. See the one that delegated you to talk. Hallelujah. We need power. I say we need power. And we, we must demonstrate that power. Ladies and gentlemen, let me give you so that it will help you. Those of you that are with me when we started this ministry, Satan said this ministry will not start. Glory be to God. Few months into our starting, glory be to God. Few months into our starting, where we got to use, all of a sudden, they just said they saw the place. And the man that one, one demonic agent want to put us on a fix. Power. Somebody say power. power. Some of you were there with me. It was not an issue. They said they want to put down the structure. They were looking at my size. I was much more smaller than this. I said, Dunamis is an inherent power. It's not, it does not show on the outside. It's inside. It when it explodes, then you know what it carries. Glory be to God. When it drop a small imp improvised device here, you will not know the effect it will cause. You can even kick it, but let it explode. And the young man looked at me. When I mobilized five talks to come and pull down the church in the morning. <laughs> I came to the office. They were around the church smoking. I said, what is this? They were speaking in their tribe. They didn't know I understand them. They say, it's this small boy. They brought five of us. Yeah. A dynamite that is standing. You don't know. They were speaking. This small boy. Um, um, they called the man by name. Say, why did this man waste our time? This small boy. This small boy. They brought five of us. They were smoking, drinking. I opened the office. I brought out my Bible. The sun was rising. I came and stood before the sun. I opened my Bible. I said, oh God, if this beauty 
it goes down today and this man that has surrounded this church they are still alive then i leave this town for them i close my bible and lock the church they say all these stupid pastors ladies and gentlemen 30 minutes later my neighbor that is within me i called him i said sir have they brought down the building he said sir as you left they also left as you close your bible <laughs> as, as you close up as you made that declaration as you made that declaration and left all of them advised themselves and left the place power power you say this listing he said you carry dynamics that's why i say anybody can look down on you but you must know what to carry they can make all the noise they want to make i said when you see when you see some of this is they call bomb 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 that blast when you see where they drop it you can kick it to you can match on it and pass because some of them look tiny small at times they put them inside small something but let it explode all the building around this area everybody living in that area will go down i see things go down for you this year i say i see challenges melt before you this year the man said when you left all of them left i didn't see them so when they see me on the street they say that pastor they will say that pastor come close now if you have power come glory be to god if you have power come touch the building in the next 24 hours you'll be a dead man they left and listen to me listen to me that man that man that led them three of his family members his father including him and brother they died in one month one month they had three dead bodies on the ground i'm talking about power i'm talking about power all this one people somebody's intimidating you you are joining the person to look down on what you carry let the person be making intimidation know what you carry are you understand? in one month the father died himself died his brother died one month one month three dead but they don't know who to bury first the, the whole family was in chaos glory be to god i carry dynamics there's an inherent ability in me i'm not riding on my own power there is an inherent ability in me glory be to god glory be to god listen to me the year is settled but you need some some force you need some shaking for things to move the bible said the philistines the philistines will come against samson the bible says samson will shake his body touch your neighbor say you need some shaking you know? in the night you got to wake up and do some shaking i told you about the the, the, the character of a lion that people that studied about lion came and said that lion will just stay small lion is not hungry nothing is happening to lion lion will just do what roar Roar! And according to according to according to study he said that that roaring will go four miles the sound of that roaring will go four miles away why is it that the lion is not hungry like the lion not is not pursuing any animal no animal is pursuing the lion he will just roar he's sending a signal i am the one in charge in this environment every animal stay clear it's time to wake up and tell all the oppressors all the witches and occulting people i am the one in charge stay clear this environment stay clear all this one is hey, hey, hey make the no kill me make satan no remember me let them remember if you remember me i remember you are you hearing what i'm saying i said you remember me i remember you and the day i remember you you are gone touch your neighbor say you need some shaking this year you need some shaking this year you need some shaking this year we're talking about turning points it's not just going to be by you know uh, jesus carrying me to heaven and all of it could be by some dimension of shaking how does this power come john chapter one quickly i don't know that you're getting me john chapter one quickly hallelujah i said hallelujah i said hallelujah verse 12 but as verse 11 he came to his own and his own received him not but as many that received him to them gave power to become sons of god even to them that believe on his on his name who were not born of the will of the of the flesh nor of the will of man or but of god do you hear that as many that received him gave the word power let me let me say this some people think that power comes through prayer no they say more prayer more power less prayer less power no power does not come through prayer power does not come through fasting 
Are you hearing me? He said, as many that does what? Receive him. My new birth is what introduces me to the power of God. Not going to church. Many people are going to church but they've not encountered Christ. Making Jesus my Lord and my Savior it introduces me what? To the power of God. He said he came to his own. His own receiving not. But as many that received him, what happened? To them he gave what? Power. The question is, have you received him? If you have received him, there's power on your inside. You carry power. If you have received him. If you have not received him, no power. Any other power you are using is counterfeit power. And it can fail you one day. Hallelujah. Are you following me? That's why, listen to me. That's why the enemy is fighting very hard to rubbish the word born again. Do you know that many people don't understand it today? When they say born again today, some people think that just I belong to a church, I'm a worker. No. Being born again means that your spirits have come under the class of God. And God is the power God. So when I come into a, the class of God, I operate in the, in, the, in the power of God. As many that receive him, do them give me power to become what? So, so. so my new bet, being born again, is not a slogan. It has become a slogan all over the place. I'm born again. I believe in Christ. It's not by talk. Listen to me and listen to me very well. I like the word of grace, servant of God, of blessed memory, the late Archbishop of Edouza. Archbishop of Edouza, of blessed memory. What did he say? He said, alligator in Nigeria cannot be a crocodile in America. No matter what you do. No matter how big dog grows, it can never be a lion. Are you understanding? So, I said the other day that the highest essential dog, all those man, is it man hunter or man killers, we call them. Rottlers and all of them. The highest they can do is to bark louder and louder. They can never roar. Why? The nature of roaring is not in them. It's only the nature of barking. But a little one, Lion, what do you call it? A cub. A minute can produce sound. It cannot bark. What will he do? He will roar. He will roar. Because he's a lion. Even when he's small. What am I trying to say? Being born again brings in the nature of God. Some people think that because they ordained them elder in the church, they are born again. No. Your being is a conscious thing. It's not something that happened by accident. Is a conscious thing. That's why he said in Romans chapter number 10, if thou shalt believe with your heart the Lord Jesus Christ and confess with your mouth that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. And he said, when you are saved, you are saved with one package, the package of power. Hallelujah. So, how can you say you are not born again and something is pursuing you? Where would the thing come from? How can a rat pursue a lion? It's an error. It's what? An error. Any day you see a cat, a lion running for a cat, there is an error. Being born again has brought us to the class of God. And the class of God is a class of power. That's why they call it what? The omnipotent God. The all-powerful God. That is the class. So what brings me to the place of power is what? Salvation. So please don't mistake in salvation to church or religion. A lot of people plug into religion thinking that they've known Christ. And that's why, they, they, that's why there's a lot of challenge around us. Because it is understanding of your, your new birth that gives you the superiority mentality. A lot of people just go to church. And some people think that because they've stayed in the church for a long time, they are born again. The length of days you stay in the church does not matter. And the earlier the better you reveal your salvation whether you are born again because if you die church can give you a very good barrier people can say good about you but when you face God you say I don't know you and that is the worst statement anybody can hear because there will be no chance for repentance number two how do we get power Acts chapter number one verse eight are you there Acts chapter 1 verse 8 for the sake of time. He said, But ye shall receive what? Power. After 
power of the Holy Ghost is come upon you. And ye shall be what? Witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Do you hear that? My salvation brings me what? Into power. The next one is what? You shall receive my receiving the Holy Ghost. My the baptism of the Spirit brings what? Power surge. I remember when our laptop had challenged and we called the, the guy that is taking care of it. He checked and checked and said, he said, this laptop suffered power surge. I said, what do you mean, sir? By that technical term. He said, there's, there's quantity of power that is higher than the, the, the capacity of the laptop that came into the laptop. And when it came into the laptop, the element the element could the power system of the laptop could not contain it so he has to burn the laptop glory be to god when i give my life to christ oh praise god and so let me have let me show you something put, put water inside that cup and give to me two cups give to me Put one half, put what I said in two cups. One full, one half. Listen to me. You see, this Holy Ghost thing we're talking about, we need to understand it. When I give my life to Christ, I've received power. He said, and you shall receive power. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Glory be to God. Come here, man. Are you catching this thing? Don't, don't just bring it here. Now, this water is full. Or this water is half. Are you hearing what I say? So, there is power in this. When I gave my life to Christ, down, I came and received the Holy Ghost. What happened here? What happened here? What, what happened here? What is the next thing? Overflow. 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 So when I give my life to Christ, there's a dimension of power. When the Holy Ghost comes, it takes me to the overflowing level. I come to what? An overflowing level. Thank you, sir. I came into the overflowing level. Why am I trying to take time to explain this briefly this morning? There is this misunderstanding in the church that when I receive the Holy Ghost, I receive tongues. No. Do you hear what I said? No. And that's why some people don't understand what they receive. They think that the Holy Ghost, when they receive the Holy Ghost, is tongue. As I can, I can pray in tongues. Yes. That is not what you receive. What you receive is what? Is power. The tongue is what? The evidence or sign. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Can I give you another example? Have you seen our power system in this country? When they put a high tension or that 33 kVA, you see them draw something like human skull, right? With two bones. And they said what? Danger, keep off. What is that thing? Sign. Is that thing? Is that in the power? No. It's a sign. Glory be to God. You can even touch that thing. Nothing will happen to you. But there's a place. <laughs> yeah. There's a place you will touch. Nobody will remember your existence. It makes me remember a story that was said about a man in one of our our power station. At Igbi, Igbi, somewhere in the west. The man was a cleaner. He came to work. He works in that place. Signed the register. <laughs> and was doing cobwebbing and cleaning. And mistakenly made contact with one wires. The only thing that they saw that the man came to work that day was because he signed the register. That was the only... Ay, 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 ay. Listen. Holy Ghost brings a power surge into your system. 
you become a high tension wire that that anything that mistakenly touches you or you decide to touch the pain cannot survive that's why jesus said i have led the rock of offense in zion he said whosoever we fall on this stone will be broken into pieces and anyone this stone decide to fall on will be granted into powder when we receive the holy ghost we did not receive tongues sir there's a mistake in the body of christ there's this mistake among believers that when i get get god filled with the holy ghost i, I is only tongues some people the only thing they have is tongues no and yes shall receive tongues is that what the bible says what did he say you shall receive power miracle working power so the tongue is an evidence of what you receive the tongue is not what you received what you receive is power ability to command the turn around hallelujah that's what you receive is not tongue you receive so some people pride in speaking in tongues i love that i do that a lot glory be to god i do that a lot at times three hours at times two hours at times one hour at times six hours i pray in tongues but listen to me I must have this consciousness that when the Holy Ghost arrived into my life, it was not tongues I received. What I received is power. If you leave it at tongues level, you just be speaking in tongues. Something happened, you, you just give up. But when you know that it's power you receive, when you begin to release tongues, you know that you are releasing something dangerous. Glory be to God. Let me tell you something. If you have been to Niger State before where we have Kenji Dam, if you have gone towards that area, ladies and gentlemen, some kilometers away from Kenji down, you'll be hearing home. You'll be hearing Ooh. Ooh. what is that? <laughs> what is that? It's giving you sound of power that has been generated. So that sound is the tongue. When you get to the station, that is the power. Are you gonna say? If you move towards Kenji down, some kilometers away, you'll be hearing sound of power being generated so when i begin to blast in tongues i let everybody know that this sound is hearing there's power backing it stay clear stay clear because something is about to happen glory be to god i said glory be to god so those are the two cardinal ways he said power comes out my new bed to the the arrival or the infilling of the baptism of the holy ghost so this Holy Ghost we receive is power. We didn't receive tongues. Some people thought they received tongues. You receive power. When you limit the work of the Holy Ghost to tongues, you discover that the power will not flow. But when you know that what you receive is power, you speaking in tongues will make sense to you. Somebody say amen. amen. Now, pastor, you said something that we don't receive power through prayer. We don't receive power. What, we, what is the, the place of prayer glory be to god i said glory be to god i said glory be to god the place of prayer listen the place of prayer is to keep that power father cleanly and powerfully working that is the place of fasting and prayer if you think that by the time you fast you get power you'll be making mistake Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You know, <laughs> you know, you, you know, how many of us use kitchen knife here? You know, there's a place you get to, it becomes blunt. You want to cut something, you are struggling. What do you do? These young men that used to walk around, you call them to do what? You sharpen it. Then by the time you sharpen the knife, what happened? Any mistake. You will use the, your hand as part of the onions. Are you going to say? Your finger or part of your flesh become part of the onions. So when I get to God in prayer, I am not praying to receive power. I am praying to stir up the power. Prayer and fasting stirs up the power. You stir it up as you begin to pray. Glory be to God. Have you seen two, two, 
two rams fighting, all those rams they take they they, 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 they train to fight or dogs, especially ram. You see the, the you see them moving back first. You see them doing what? Moving back. So as I'm praying, I am I'm activating. Then by the time they move back to a certain point, what happened? They move with force and do what? And jump. Use their horns and hit each other. There is a collision between the two. Glory be to God. I said, Glory be to God. So that's why we fast. The Bible is speaking about Jesus. He said he was led by the Spirit. Amen. To the wilderness, he fasted, he prayed, he returned in the power of the Spirit. But where did he receive the power? He received the power at baptism. I hear everyone say, So this is why we pray. You step up. That's why Paul, Paul was writing to Timothy. He said, Timothy, listen to me. Don't allow anybody to intimidate you. There's something you carry, but stay it up. Stay it up. When you stay it up, something begins to happen. So when I begin to pray in understanding, I begin to pray in the Holy Ghost, I stay up the deposit on the inside. Can I give you another example? How many of you have drank tea here before? Tea. Normal tea, bon vita, and all of that. When you put bon vita and put milk, and put sugar and you don't stir it up what happens and put hot water what happens what happens is that all the ingredients you put we go do it we go under and do what and, and and stay until there's a stirring even though you put hot water until you stir it it will mix very well when we begin to fast when we begin to pray when we begin to praise what are we doing we are stirring the deposit we carry on the inside there's something already on the inside. Our prayer is stirring it up. It's bubbling. It's bubbling. By the time you release it, action starts. Glory be to God. I said glory be to God. I said glory be to God. Let me quickly add a few things. Why this power is important this year. Your dominion on earth is impossible without demonstration of power. Glory be to God. Yes. Look at Look at Psalms before we begin to go. Look at Psalm 66, verse 2. Just show you a few things. Power, ah, yeah. I don't know who is getting me this morning, but enough is enough. This year, this year, the only thing that will be coming out of your mouth will be ten testimonies. I say testimonies. That is what is permitted. Testimonies. 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 Are you there? 66, 66 verse 2. Shall we read together, everybody? 66. Are we all there? One, two, read. Say unto God. Are you there? 66, two. Three, sorry. Three. Say unto God. How terrible art thou in thy works. Through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies to God submit themselves unto thee. How would they submit? Because you are begging. How would they submit? Because you are crying. Those of you that you like crying. He said, say unto God, how terrible art thou in that world. Through the greatness of thy power shall the enemy submit. Enemies don't submit to begging. Enemies don't submit to weeping. Enemies don't submit to crying. Enemies don't submit to pity. They submit to the voice of power. And may your voice become the voice of power this year. You didn't hear that word. I said, may your voice become the voice of power this year. Well, that we need power for turning point this year because that is the only way we establish our dominion. Say unto God, how terrible are thou in the world? Through the greatness of the power shall the enemy submit. All this one is saying, my own Christianity is gentle Christianity. You know, just take it easy. And God is hearing me. God knows my heart. God knows your heart. The enemy does not know your heart, sir. I say God knows your heart, but the enemy does not know. Wicked men don't know your heart. You must bring out what is in your heart for them to know. He said, through the greatness of the power, the enemy will submit. Hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. I said, hallelujah. Why is this power very needful? I say, one, that is the only way we walk in dominion. It's by power. Listen to me, the earth, the earth has become a wicked ground. Our earth today have become a theater of wickedness. That's why the Bible says in First John chapter five verse nineteen, what that the whole world lieth in wickedness. So there must be element of power. And what, what, I, what I said at the beginning, there are so many things that want to shut you down. 
it takes power to say no i cannot be shut down number two amen i say amen i say amen, amen. you cannot demonstrate your superiority without power look at saint Luke's gospel chapter 10 verse 19. everybody around there two more we we'll talk to god this morning are you there 19 what did he say behold i give unto you power to tread on serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt you do you hear that brothers and sisters look up here there are so many serpents and scorpions moving around everywhere if you look at this animal listen one serpent is a very subtle animal it's a very tricky animal but it's a very dangerous animal if you notice one thing about serpent and scorpion one thing they carry is what poison amen anywhere serpent bites it leaves what poison anywhere scorpion stinks it leaves what poison ladies and gentlemen there are so many things that are out to corrupt the year there are out so many serpent and scorpion that are out to stop your testimony it takes power and authority to say no you can't sting me this year no serpent is permitted to bite me this year he said i give to you power over what all what serpent and scorpion why did he choose serpent and scorpion this animal some of them especially scorpion scorpion is very very small but causes a lot of danger a danger hallelujah he said i give to you see you cannot showcase your superiority until there's power at work serpent and scorpion and ladies and gentlemen i know some of you will not like what i say some human beings have become serpents and scorpions yes but listen with power it becomes impossible for them to carry out the operation some human beings have become what serpents and scorpions walking around they are wearing clothes as women they are wearing clothes as men but in the realm of the spirit they are serpents and scorpions but this year power will useless their operation i said power will useless their operation i said power will useless their operation you do not hear what jesus said i am sending you as sheep among wolves glory be to god the next thing you need to notice why that this power need to come on display is that power commands attention this is where i want to use to pray for you this morning power commands what john luke chapter number four verse what he said when jesus returned in the power of the spirit it was noise abroad when it was noise abroad everybody started coming listen the power of god will announce your career this year i don't know what i've covered your career kept your career kept your talent kept your ability and it looks as if god what is this that is happening the power of god will command we will, will announce your potential this year we announce the work of your i wish i'm talking to people that came to church this morning you can't you, you can't say amen this morning glory be to god oh you are you are comfortable where you are you want to tell me that you have arrived you have done the best you can do for your generation it is power that commands attention he returned in the power of the spirit he returned in the power of the spirit and when he returned in the power of the spirit what happened it was noise abroad and people began to gather people will gather to celebrate with you this year i said people will gather to celebrate with you this year one of the things we are going to tell God this morning why this power is important in our turning point is that power gives birth to impossibilities. Power delivers what? Impossibilities. When power of God begins to work in your life, one of the things that will die in your mouth is what? This one is impossible. This one is impossible. This one is it just dies naturally you look at this one and say it's possible you look at this one and say it's possible look at this one and, say, and that will be somebody's testimony this year even when people say it's impossible tell them that it's possible even when it looks it's impossible how brothers and sisters if you look at saint luke's gospel chapter one you know the story and how angel appeared to mary mary thou are highly favored among women blessed are thou among women thou are highly favored mary i came to announce to you that very soon you become a preg become pregnant and you will give birth to a child that child will be the son of the mo the highest uh -uh. that is an impossible case sir medically is impossible naturally is impossible traditionally is impossible anyhow you want to look at it is impossible why we have been taught listen to this we have been taught for a child to be produced 
man and woman must have contact. Am I right? How did come you came and announced to me that I will that I'll carry pregnancy, I'll give birth to a child, and the child I'll give birth to is not an ordinary child. Is the you see, the angel, the announcement of the angel complicated matters. He did not even tell Mary, see, you become pregnant. Then you give birth to a child like every other woman. He said you become pregnant. One, you are a virgin. You know? I know you are a virgin. But you become pregnant. One, the child that you give birth will be an extraordinary child. Will be the, the angel complicated things, impossible issues. And Mary said, well, let it be unto me according to, uh, according to the word of the Lord. And he said, but angel, Gabriel, don't be angry before you disappear. How can this thing be? Because as I'm speaking to you, I'm a virgin. I've not known any man before. And the angel made a pronouncement. The power of the highest shall come. The Holy Ghost shall overshadow you. The power of the highest. You see that? The Holy Ghost, the power. Not the Holy Ghost and not, 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 not the Holy Ghost and tongues. Are you understand? The only we must understand that Holy Ghost essentially is the power with tongues as a sign, not tongues as power. The Holy Ghost, the power of the, 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 the Spirit of God will come upon you, and the power of the Spirit shall come upon you. You will do what the impossible will become possible. You are going to pray, Lord. There is a dimension and I need this money that must turn every impossible case in my family to become possible. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, Am I talking to you this morning? Power is what arrests impossibilities. And that is one of the words that flow out of the mouth of so many believers today. This one is impossible. This one is impossible. This one is impossible. Not when power is at work. Not what? And why, as I close, before you talk to God, why power is extremely important brothers and sisters have you seen in the natural that when power goes off many things shut down i you see in the natural in the natural when the power goes off so many systems hallelujah i went out to do something yesterday and when i spoke with the lady said sir you can't come very early in the morning there is no light no power so the alternative power we have will be running at so 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 time. Anytime there is no power in the natural system, shut down, brothers and sisters. Anytime you lack spiritual power, so many things will be handicapped. But this year, things must open up, things must open up because you must operate the power. The question I have, I want to ask you as we pray Are you born again? Have you made Christ your Lord and personal savior? Then power has come. As you are, have you received the Holy Ghost? Is there a, a baptism? Have you been baptized in the Spirit? I'm not talking about water baptism. Water baptism has its own. I'm talking about baptism of the Holy Ghost. The baptism of fire. Have you been baptized in the Spirit? With the evidence of speaking in tongues. Then you have power. Use your prayer to intensify it. Use your fasting to intensify it. Use purity. I didn't even go to that area. Use consecration and a pure life to intensify it. You see, sin blocks the power passage. Sin does what? Have you ever got, got somewhere and maybe in your house they say water is not flowing and you bring the plumber, they say something blocked the, the pipe. That's why it's not flowing. Have you, have you experienced that? Yes. Sin and unrighteousness does what? Blocks the, the power channels. It blocks the flow. So your sanctification must be in place. Your, the, your prayer must intensify it. And let me quickly say something. The revelation of the word of God intensifies what? Intensifies power. How? The Bible says where no wood is, the fire goeth out. Are you going to say? Where no wood? Have you cooked in our local system with firewood? All of a sudden, the food is not yet okay, but firewood has finished. What happened? The, the intensity of the fire will do what? I'll read one scripture. We'll rise up to pray. Lord, impossible must become possible this year. I don't care what men have said is impossible. But Lord, through the greatness of thy power this year, through your power that, has, that is at work in me, every impossible case will become possible. 
Hallelujah. Mary said to Angel Michael, How can it be? I don't have all the connections. I don't have the certificates. I don't have all, I don't know who, who, who is who in the society. As a politician, I, I'm not connected to any politician. He said, Mary, you don't need the politicians. Mary, you don't need the connection. The power of the highest shall come upon you. And that thing, man, medical science has said is impossible becomes possible. Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you to the world of possibilities. I welcome you to the world of possibilities. I don't know who is sitting his or her chest. And so as far as we are concerned, this thing will not be done. The power of God will make it, make it happen this year. I don't know who, have, who, who is sitting in his chest and somebody has told you this thing is impossible with you. Every other person can do it or but if it comes to you, you cannot do it. I came to announce to you that by the greatness of the power of God, possibility is a reality in your case. Stand to your feet, everybody. Stand to your feet. You're going to talk to God this morning. Lift up your hands, everybody, wherever you are. Raise your hands. There's a turning point for somebody. If you are sick, please get ready. There's a going to be power surge in a moment. There's going to be power surge. If you are sick, there's going to be power surge right now. Let the sense everybody and bless the name of the Lord. Everybody bless His holy name. Shabalakata. Rabata Lashuta. Are you blessing God or you are looking? Zebabata Kalabasata. Shabalakata Labaya. Let the sense everybody and bless the name of the Lord. Shabalakata Labranuskia. Shabalakata Labaya. Lebra anta leka basuta ya Shabala ta leka labarata lash E labarata lash Lebarata labashanda labarakata labaya Lebarata labashanda labarakata ya Lebarakata labashanda labaya Shabala katata tabalaya ha Thank you my father Lift up your right hand, everybody. We're going to pray. Just one prayer this morning. Lord, everything that looks or anything that looks impossible in my life, I deploy your power in that area. Anything voice have reason to say is impossible with me. I deploy your power in that area. Lord God Almighty, you that came down and made the possibility possible for Mary, I plug my business in the path of possibility this year. I plug my life in the path of possibility. Lift up your right and say, my Heavenly Father. Oh, can you pay attention here? My Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I have the Son. I have power. I have the Holy Ghost. I have power. I have the Holy Ghost. I have power. Right now, I decree and I declare. Right now, I decree and I declare. Every facet of my life that suffered impossibility. Every facet of my family that suffered impossibility. In the name of Jesus, I raise a voice. I raise a voice by the power of God. Possibility is reality in my life. I don't know where you want to call that possibility. But open your mouth this morning and declare. And declare. And declare this morning, marriage is possible this year. Your marriage is possible. Your childbearing is possible. A new job is possible. A rabbi so winning is possible. A rabbi talabayata. Shabbata lakara. Shabbalakataya. Academic success is possible. Healing and deliverance is possible. A rabbi talabarata. A shabbalakataya. A barata. A kete barataya. Mary said, How can this thing be? Thy will not a man. He said, The power of the highest. He that have the Son have power. He that have the Holy Ghost have power. Let there be a power surge in your business. Let there be a power surge in your body. Every sickness, Ayalakata. Every pain, Every pain, Every power surge 
your career. Your career be stagnated for too long. Let there be power sword. 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 Power sword. Power sword. Power sword. Somebody, I want you to turn that neck. That neck that is burning you. You came in here with a stiff neck. Turn that neck. Turn that neck. You came here with a stiff neck. I want you to turn that neck. The labalata, the sabalakata, a rabata labaya. Look up here, somebody. There's somebody that came in with pain. This side of your tummy. This place. This place. This place. I cost that affliction to go. This place. I'm laying my hands. You came in here with pain, sharp pain. I command it to go in the name of Jesus. There's a power surge. Every sickness. Every sickness. Every demonic oppression is jumping out right now. There's power. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. There's a power surge. There's a power surge in your body. There's a power surge. 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 Listen, listen. God is showing me somebody. Listen, listen. You're a woman. There's this hotness of the womb. Hotness of the womb. The end has come. I don't know who you are. There's this hotness of the womb you experience as a woman. Especially, especially one of them, especially when you want to conceive or at a particular period of time. There's this hotness and it's very, very discomforting. I cause that affliction. I say I cause that affliction today. 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 In the name of Jesus. 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 Now somebody listen. You feel something as if somebody water entered your ear. You thought that it's water in your ear. But it's not water. It's like a ringing sensation. Now, I command that affliction to be flushed out of your system. Flushed out of your system. Yes, 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 yes. Fibroid. Die in the name of Jesus. Anyone carrying fibroid in your womb, I command it to die in the name of Jesus. Every fibroid, die. Melt away in the name of Jesus. Melt away in the name of Jesus. Melt away in the name of Jesus. There is somebody listening. You always see somebody threatening you in the dream. At times he threatens you with God. He threatens you with gun or something, a handful of object. Right now, that strong man against your life. I command the eggs to open and swallow that person. I didn't hear somebody say good and then I said, let that person be swallowed this morning. Let that person be swallowed this morning. Let that affliction be swallowed this morning. I decree a power surge in your career. Power surge in your business. Power surge in your business. Power surge in your business. Power surge in your life. 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 In the name of Jesus. Lift up those hands, everybody. Just worship him. Just worship him. Just worship him. Just worship him. I want to touch just one of them. Just worship him, everyone. The Holy Ghost. I said the Holy Ghost is walking around. Angels of God are moving. Angels of God are moving. Angels of God are moving one after the other in this place. Yes, they are here moving one after the other. There's something that they're putting in your body. There's something they're putting in your life. Just worship him. Just bless him. Just praise him. Just praise him. He entered the prison. Peter's case turned around. It's entering your business. It's turning around. It's entering your family. It's turning around. Lord, we give you praise. I will worship you forever.